Hi guys, so today we're going to create a menu, okay? So if you have a restaurant or a catering service, this would be useful for you, okay? So first, uh, let's scroll down and go to the marketing material section and then click menu, okay? So the size of the menu is 8.5 inches by 11 inches, which is the size of your regular short bond paper, okay? So here are some uh, menu templates, okay? You just um, change the photos and uh, change uh, the words, okay? Just edit this. Okay, so let's look for um, other templates. Okay, so again, you can change the font, the colors, okay? You can make it yellow, blue, okay? Whatever you want. Okay, so uh, let me just choose another template. Okay, click replace. Okay, so I chose this uh, menu template because I want to add some photos, okay? And I want to teach you how to use frames and grids. Okay, so uh, let's just first drag this um, menu items on the right. And then let's go to element section here. Okay, click elements. And then click frames, okay? So um, we will not just be adding a photo, we will be adding a frame, okay? So here are the different um, designs of the frames, okay? So let me just scroll down because I want to have a circular frame, okay? So let me just drag this frame, okay? So let's make this smaller and I want to copy this frame. So just click copy, okay? So um, the menu items here, we have um, crispy fried chicken, okay, mixed fruits, etc. Okay, so let me just look for a picture of a fried chicken. Okay, so to do that, you just go here on the left top uh, section, click search, and then type uh, fried chicken. Okay, so here are some pictures of fried chicken. As you can see, some are free and some cost $1. Okay, so if you don't want to pay one dollar and if you don't want to use the free pictures here, again, you can go to pixabay.com, which is where you will uh, find royalty free photos. And let's see if they have a fried chicken photo here. Okay, so let's uh, just look. Okay, so here are some fried chicken photos that you can use for free. Okay. But for the purpose of this exercise, I'll just copy the um, fried chicken photo here from search, okay? So as you can see that the photo follows the shape of the frame, okay? If the frame is circle, then the photo will be circle. If the frame is triangle, then the photo will be triangle, okay? So now um, another menu item here is mixed fruit. So... Let's just look here, fruit. Okay, so um, now let's drag the photo of some fruits. Okay, so that is how you use a frame. Okay, so I want to add, um, show you some other examples of frames. So let me just copy this page and you can do that by clicking here. Okay, you can see the number here, the number one. If you go below that, there is copy this page. Okay, so just click that, copy this page, and it will copy that page, right? So I just want to delete the items here, so I'll just click it, and then delete. Okay, delete element. Let me just delete this first. Okay, so now I want to add another frame. So let's just go back again to elements here on the left side. And then let's click frames. Okay, and let me just choose a frame. Okay, so I want to change this um, text here to fruits. Okay, so now let's look for pictures of fruits and just drag the pictures on the frame. Okay. So that is how you um, use um, frames. Okay, so let me just finish this. Okay.
Okay, so it will automatically resize itself. The picture will automatically resize itself to fit on the frame. Okay, so let me just show you an, another example of how to use a grid. Okay, so for this, let's add a new page. So here on the bottom, you can see add a new page. Okay, so just click that, add a new page, and a new page will appear. Okay, so now let's go back to elements. And then click grids, okay? Click grids, not frames, okay? And here are the different grid templates, okay? So let's just drag one of these templates here. And let's go back again to the search. And let's copy um, some pictures of fruits. Okay, so it will automatically resize itself to be on the grid. Okay, so let's um, add another picture. Okay, so this is useful if you want to create a magazine type of page. Okay, so again, there are many, many um, templates here for the grids and the frames. Okay, so let's go back to frame. Okay, so let's add another photo, uh, add a new page. Okay, so let's go back to the frame and I'll show you some other frames. Okay, that might be useful. So here's a frame of a cell phone. Okay, so let's just drag that. Okay, so as you can see, it's on the back, so we need to um, arrange it. Okay, so you can see this is the frame of a cell phone. Okay, so let's put the picture in there. Okay, or if you need a frame of a laptop, then that is also possible. Okay, so there, let's just delete this first. Okay. Okay, I want to change the color of the background to a yellow color. Okay, so there's also a frame of um, laptop. Okay, this could be useful. Okay, so let's add some photos here. Okay. So that is how you use frames and grids, right?